Hey everyone, this is going to be a uh, update and I'll start with just the facts and then I'll just share some thoughts and I guess information on how I conduct <laughs> my <laughs> business and items in my shop. So let's start with the bad news and those are that I have removed actually all the palettes that I have been offering till now in my shop for a couple of reasons. So my perfect palette which you've heard me talk about for probably two years now, almost two years, and I love mine, I use it every single day, and many, many of you have also purchased it and love it as much as I do, and thank you for sharing your feedback with me. But it seems that in the recent month, so the last few orders that people made um, from my shop, the palette now comes with a plastic insert and not a metal insert like it has in the previous two years. And it seems that the plastic insert is, first of all, not what people expect, which is understandable. And I also wasn't aware that uh, this change was made. My supplier didn't notify me and I didn't know about it. And I only found out through my customers that uh, let me know. So. I don't appreciate that and also it seems like it's just not as um, like versatile or flexible I always talk about how much I love uh, metal palettes because those inserts let you really kind of fuse whichever pans from whatever brand you're using and it seems like the plastic insert is not as versatile and doesn't accommodate everything and you just can't use it in the same free way that you can with a metal insert. So first of all, for now I removed it from my shop and I'm really, really sorry if you ordered the palette in the last probably four weeks and you receive it with a plastic insert if you are not satisfied, then you can always email me and I will do my best to help you. Uh, I ordered the new palette, like the new ver version for myself to see how I like it. I suspect I'm not going to like it as much as the previous version with the metal insert. And yeah, if I don't like it, I'm not going to sell it uh, in my shop. So for now, it, I removed it from my shop. I have to examine it again. And I'm really sorry for all of you that uh, ordered it. The ones that contacted me just like told me about the change and uh, yeah, you're always... One of my biggest worries about opening a shop was that I just... I was scared to deal with, you know, unsatisfied customers just because yeah, it's not a pleasant interaction. I don't like to complain as a customer and I didn't want to be on the receiving end, even though uh, if you've ever... I had a handful of complaints since I've opened my shop. I've now had, I think, over 700 orders, which I'm so, so grateful for it. And actually the interaction with the customers has been one of the best parts of having this shop and I'm always surprised that you are so kind and uh, I just, you know, whenever someone says that anything they uh, received is not as they accepted, I as they expected, I'm always like, just, you know, tell me what I can do sometimes and, you know, I always offer a refund if people are not uh, like satisfied because I treat my customers the way that I want to be treated as a customer. I, you know, if I find, as a customer, if I find the, you know, the courage or the will to complain, I don't want to negotiate anything. I don't want a discussion. I want the seller to, um, to give me kind of the best experience and think long term. And I know mistakes happen, delays happen, things get damaged in transit. I know all these things. And I, you know, if I get good service, if 
the person on the other end just treats me with respect and doesn't think about, you know, the dollar that they earn today, um, that's going to make me come back. And yeah, that's, that's how I run my business. So I am really, really grateful that from the interaction that I've had with, uh, with you guys, uh, you people, um, <laughs> when I say guys, I don't mean men, I mean people, but I guess that word just kind of infiltrated the language. So, uh, with you lovely viewers, uh, I'm, I'm like always surprised by the kindness and patience. And I think it's just, you know, I think when you shop from a person, like a small business, when you know the owner, you know, like you see me on YouTube and everything i think also people don't expect the same things that they expect with like a big corporate um you know machine <laughs> so i i was actually really surprised i was very worried when i opened the shop but i said like i i need to try this because i want to offer a few things um for me it's not about the product it's not about selling a product it's about sharing the joy of being creative and making art and kind of finding tools that I enjoy using and then inspire me to sit and paint. It's, it's so, I just, you know, I want you to come back here and paint with me and enjoy your experience. And, you know, the palettes that I found that I saw were not available in places where um, I, I think most of the time people are happy to buy from so for example if i saw these palettes that were offered that i offered in my shop if they were available from uh like a place like jackson's or amazon i wouldn't carry them in my shop i would just you know send people there because i'm sure that certain people have a negative experience like every shop some customers are uh, unsatisfied but for the most part i think i've had a good experience with Amazon as much as I know that is a very problematic company and to be honest you know I buy from there like I buy from Amazon Germany I'm in Austria because it's it's so convenient I live in a little village the near town is you know it's like a big town I can get a lot of things but for example I only read English books and I'm in Austria so there are like very few books in English especially about like art and crochet in the shops and so I also don't want to pay like shipping as much as I want to support like small shops so I'm also guilty of you know buying from these soon to be or already kind of monopolies so i'm not saying i'm perfect or anything like that but yeah everything i carry in my shop is either you know my own designs like my artwork or uh the stamps that i design and a few items that i think are really great but are not available uh from like regular popular places and so i offer kind of my experience using these products and also my customer service so if you have a problem you don't have to write some shop somewhere in the world you write to me and i deal with all that stuff and that's what i wanted to offer and yeah so uh, there's a lot of work that goes behind it and I also try all kinds of products that you never see and never hear about because they just don't make the cut. All these things also cost money and yeah I just want to find like those little gems that I feel are uh, really fun and great to use and that's how I felt about the palettes. So I offered in my shop the perfect palette, as I call it. That's right now it's it's removed from my shop until I get to check out that uh, plastic insert and then also update the listing so that people don't uh, think they're getting the metal insert. And I also removed the ceramic palettes, like the porcelain palettes, which I 
also really love I have them I use them but I had I mean it is ceramic so a couple of people I've had dozens of these uh, palettes you know shipped and ordered and I think like two out of many many more arrived broken and I know they're well packaged because again I try everything myself I test you know the product the shipping the customer service I test all these things but um, you know it is like a breakable product so a couple broke and of course uh, I immediately sent a replacement uh, so that is something that, you know, you have to take that risk and the, I think, two customers that received the broken palette were, you know, of course disappointed, but were very kind and understanding and they received a new, uh, not broken <laughs> palette. But I had a couple of uh, issues with the supplier and a couple of wrong orders, which is also something that happens, we're all humans and mistakes happen that is not the problem but then when you have a problem i expect it to be dealt with in a certain way and i had an issue and i didn't kind of get the the service that i want and so i just don't like i can't take that risk that it's going to end up costing me money when you know a customer gets an item they didn't order and then I have to ship them a new item, which of course I immediately do, but then I don't get the refund for the wrong order. So yeah, there's a lot of things uh, behind the scenes. If you have any questions, if you want to like talk about it in the comments or email me, I'm happy to discuss this. I'm like an open book. I have nothing to hide. This is how I choose to do things. I don't look at my, you know, ten dollars that i earned from this customer i don't care about that i need to make a profit you know for the work that i put in but i want my customers to be happy and come back and um so i i i gladly you know lose a little bit to gain the customer's trust and i have been here on youtube for years I've only recently opened a shop, so this only came kind of as a more recent thing. And it's just one aspect of what I want to do and what I want to offer. And it's also what I have discovered is kind of essential if one wants to make a living and I don't have like a huge YouTube channel. I wish I had, you know, 500,000 subscribers and I could get all my income just by making free content on YouTube and I didn't have to kind of deal with other things because I love the fact that, you know, that YouTube is free and, you know, people can come here and be inspired and have fun and escape a little bit their daily lives. I love that. But I don't know if I am built for, like, creating, you know, clickbait kind of content. So I try to do things that I know people want to see and are also fun for me. And I also feel have value and not just like, I just don't want just like to get clicks and get new people and get, you know, commissions from affiliate links. I want to give something like a value to the people that come here. And yeah, so that means that, you know, if I have a small YouTube channel, I make a little bit money out of that, but that's like very little. It's not something that can sustain me and I need other sources of income. And so I have my courses, I have my shop, you know, the stamps have been super uh, successful. I am so happy that people love them and that's an example for me, for a product, it is a physical product that I can sell and make profit, but it's like a means to an end. It's like I created this so we can do fun stuff and just enjoy our creative time with watercolor. So um, yeah, that's, that's kind of my state of mind. I'm learning as I go. I'm self-taught when it comes to everything, um, painting, marketing, managing my store, 
I don't have the funds to hire people to work for me and do the things that I don't know how to do. I would love, I would love, for example, I would love, love, love to hand over all of my like social media uh, things and like marketing to someone else. That would be, I grew up without the internet. I'm the last generation born in 79. <laughs> I grew up without the internet. I don't have that. This is not necessarily about a generation. This is, I think, a combination of that and personality. I don't have that natural, I don't want to say need, but like that natural um, ability to share everything that I do or everything connected to my work and my passion. It doesn't come naturally to me, but it's something I have to do if I want people to know that, you know, I exist and know what I have to offer. And yeah, I don't know, I'll, let's put it in the universe. If you are educated in, you know, social media and marketing and you want a part-time <laughs> gig and you feel a connection to what I do and you think you could do a good job with, you know, marketing my shop and courses and YouTube channel and all those things on Instagram. Um, I think that's kind of YouTube and Instagram. That's where I'm at. Write me. I would love, love, love to hand that over to someone. And yeah, but it's just me. I am very, very grateful and fortunate to have uh, the ability to do what I do, that I don't have to go and, you know, work somewhere full time, uh, that I can kind of figure things out and work for myself. But yeah, I, I don't have anyone helping me with the running of all of this. Like I do everything myself. Like everything and it is fun and I learn things every day but yeah obviously I can't be best be best European leaders be best if you know that <laughs> if you know what I'm quoting then <laughs> leave me a comment below and we can be best friends so yeah Sorry about this somewhat uh, all over the place video, but I just wanted to give you just a little update about the palettes, basically. If you don't see them in the shop, that is why, that's what's going on. I'm trying with the, the perfect palette. I can't find it anywhere. It's just this one supplier that I've been working with and they told me they don't have that metal insert anymore and I can't find it anywhere else, sadly. Very, very sad about it. And then the ceramic palettes I can get from other suppliers, but yeah, I'm not sure that it's really worth uh, kind of investing the time. I mean, I've had a few uh, people order those palettes and they seem to like them, but not in the amounts that I feel like I want to spend more time and money um, looking for options. So. Yeah, it's just not worth my while. Um, if you have any questions, again, I'm happy to talk to you in the comments or, you know, DM me on Instagram or email me. Um, I will see you later this week with another video and also updates. I've already made uh, my sketchbooks that I'm going to use in new content uh, that's going to be added to my first watercolor class. So more updates on that. I'm just like working through it. <laughs> I just got back from vacation on Sunday evening. Today is Wednesday morning. So I'm still like catching up, ignoring laundry. <laughs> and, you know, thankfully I was uh, in Israel visiting my family and I was uh, with just one, uh, child. Sadly, I couldn't take my younger daughter because she's not yet fully vaccinated and she would have needed to quarantine for a week, which was the length of our vacation. So 
um, yeah, so I only took one kid and we stayed with my mom who did all our laundry before we came back. So I didn't come back with mountains of laundry. That's already good, but there's still just like, yeah, I'm ignoring that. <laughs> so <laughs> it's more important to sit here and talk about watercolor palettes, right? <laughs> but yeah, I need to kind of regain my focus and yeah so i will see you soon in a new video later this week have a wonderful day and i hope you find some time to paint i'm not sure i will <laughs> but we'll see <laughs> take care bye bye